But wait, what about fat loss? This is the section we've all been waiting for, right? If you're like most people, I'm sure you have questions. Wow! How do I optimize the amount of fat I burn during exercise? How do I train in my fat burning zone? Working at a low intensity really burns more fat, right? Well, yes it does, and no it doesn't. Depends on how you look at it. The premise for the quote unquote fat burning zone all started with this scientific truth. The body uses a higher percentage of calories from fat during low intensity work. During rest, probably right now in fact, up to 80% of your energy is being provided via fat metabolism. But did you catch the key word, or should I say symbol? Percent. At lower intensities, the body uses a higher percentage of fat. This includes low intensity activities such as sleeping or watching television or sleeping in front of the television. However, this also includes lower intensities of exercise. Lower intensities of exercise burn a higher percentage of fat than higher intensities of exercise, period. This is why the fat burning zones that you see on exercise machines are at the lower end of the intensity chart. They're all based on percentage of fat burn. Yes, it's all relative, but for fat loss, it's very relative. At lower exercise intensities, the body uses a higher percentage of fat and a lower percentage of carbohydrate for energy. As the intensity of exercise increases, the energy continuum shifts. The body gradually begins to use a lower percentage of fat and a higher percentage of carbohydrate. So it stands to reason that at low intensities, when you're burning a higher percentage of fat, you burn more fat than two, right? Wrong. In actuality, burning a high percentage of fat burns very little fat. Otherwise, the least intense activities you could perform, sleeping and watching television, would be the ideal activities for fat loss. I hope we all know this is not.